The overall goal of this technique is to automate tedious manual measurements. This method can help answer key questions in the cryptococcal field, such as the relationship between capsule or cell body size and the different aspects of virulence. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows analysis of enormous sample volumes without fatigue. The implications of this technique extend toward therapy of cryptococcosis because capsule and cell body size are important aspects of the pathogen. To prepare an India ink slide, begin by pipetting 10 microliters of cryptococcal sample onto a slide. Any circular yeast strain will work, but for this experiment, H99 was the only strain used. Pipette 2 microliters of India ink stain onto the sample and mix it by physically pushing the pipette tip into the sample and moving in a circular motion until the India ink appears evenly distributed. Place a cover slip over the sample by holding down the left edge of the cover slip against the surface of the slide. Then, gently and evenly lower the opposite side of the cover slip over the sample. Allow the slide to air dry for 5 minutes. Then, apply a light layer of nail polish to the cover slip border to form a seal and preserve the India ink stain. To image the samples, place a slide under a bright field microscope with the camera attachment and known pixel to micron conversion. Adjust the filters, objectives, and contrast and ensure the field of view is dense but not overpopulated with cryptococcal cells with clear contrast between the cell capsule and the background and properly focused.